So I worked my ass off before I left, um, and then I did work when I was on tour um, to making sure when I got back it wouldn't be too overwhelming. Um, so just, yeah, like you said, planning it out if you can, just have a general idea when you're going to be gone. Be hella proactive about it. Because even if you're just proactive about it, and like your boss or your teachers can see that you actually care, they're like, oh, okay, cool. Like, it's better than just like dipping out. <laughs> and I had, I was do the anti dillet strategy uh, when I, I got my degree in journalism just a little bit ago. And the people in Columbia, Missouri, were absolutely shocked to know that I was a musician, without fail. Because I would not play in any bands, I wouldn't do any shows, I would just sit in my room and write music when I had the time. And then when I come back to Rochester, knowing that all of my friends were back here, my bandmates were here, that that was priority number one. So we can play all our shows and record and be based out of Rochester. But use that other eight months out of the year just to kind of be myself, be solitary as a musician. So I've kept those lives pretty separate. Um, and also being in college, it's tough to hold down a full-time job in either place. Um, and even being a DIY musician, I would think that it's going on tour kind of limits you to almost part-time jobs when the schedule becomes a lot more flexible. I've been very lucky in Rochester to have a great job at the farthest north quick trip out there. And you know, my school leaders have been very good with me and allowed me to take multiple weeks off. So that's kind of a blessing and a curse where you're able to keep your life separate and know that your friends will be back for a certain amount of time, but at some point there's an expiration date on that because you know, life has to happen. So that's the decision you gotta make. That's the decision we choose. Um, as far as saving money for tour goes, there are a ton of odd jobs out there. Um, just like shoveling your neighbor's driveway or catering for some last minute company. Or I'm, I'm a photographer, so I just like, I do some cheap shoots right before tour usually. Um, yeah, I mean, for a tour, it's, you don't really get money. <laughs> so you gotta make sure you have some backups. Um, I wouldn't recommend opening up a credit card, but I did that for this last tour and it kind of saved my butt and I was able to pay most of it off afterwards. But, you know, it's a steep slope. That's a, you, can, you can fall down that hole pretty fast, so I wouldn't do that. I would do some odd jobs and find some part-time jobs that don't care as much, but yeah. I've quit some jobs to go on tour before. Jobs are always out there. I also find working for small businesses are a little more understanding. It's not like a big corporation where they really just like fire you. I worked for a salon um, and I got to know my bosses really, really well and I was like, this is really important to me. And since it was small, they were like, I want to support your dreams. So go be gone for five weeks and come back and you'll still have a job, which is very lucky, I understand. But um, I was just like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm going to do this whether you keep me or not. So. Um, anyone have any more questions before we, before we wrap up? Cool. Um, so, let's go back, reintroduce ourselves. Um, this is the Rochester How to Be a Successful DIY Band panel um, put on by the Rochester Area Foundation. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and uh, listening and uh, being here. Um, I'm Dylan. Uh, I play the band Green Top. I also am the co-director of Rochester. Um, you can follow Green Top at Green Top Band everywhere. You can follow Rochester at Rochester Festival on all the social medias. I'm Kathy. I go by She Her Pronouns, and I'm in Gully Boys. Um, I'm Dottie. I use the other pronouns. I'm in Gully Boys. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Gully Boys Band, Twitter. It's also the voice band. And the Facebook is too. I think I just changed them all so they're all the same. So, yeah. So. I'm Isaac, I go by he, him pronouns. Uh, you can find Why Not on Instagram, uh, it's Why Not Band Official. Uh, I think it's the same on Twitter. I think Facebook is, it's MN, okay. I am i don't really go into the realm of Twitter. Um, yeah, Why Not MN on Twitter, I, I've been told. Um, but yeah, stick around for the show. Uh, I'm Trevor, also he, him, pronouns, and I play in a band called Author, um, and it's at we are author for anything. Author's impossible to find, so you have to do we are author. 
And in Isaac James, I use he, him pronouns. You can find my band, Green Top, where Dylan said, at Green Top Band, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Instagram's your best bet. That's the one we use the most. Uh, thank you so much to Thesis Beer Project for having yes, us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stick around. We will be back real soon. Seven o'clock is when the music starts. Seven o'clock. All right, thank you. Oh,